Hey everyone! I'm going to build a shelf today. I'm out in the garage. Here's a big long plank of wood and I thought that'd be perfect. I have some smaller pieces of wood that I've had laying around so I've grabbed them in case I want to use any of those. Grabbed some of my tools out and I'm getting prepared to create something and today that something is a display stand. So I'm going to start with measuring out the long piece of wood and putting markers at where I would like the height of a canvas plus two inches. So it's going to be different for everybody. Um, I've grabbed one of the shelves and I've drawn another line to mark the width of that shelf because I'm going to cut that out. I've already started cutting out some of those and I've accidentally sawn my finger. That's okay, it's superficial, it's just to keep the dust out. So here is just sawing along one of the lines, then I saw along the other that I drew and then I will saw in between those two. So that makes it look like this. And from here, because you've got that extra sawn line, um, that makes it easier to like chisel away those bits of wood. And I didn't actually have a chisel, so a flathead screwdriver works pretty darn well. So now I just give it all a nice sand all over and then I will put some PVA wood glue into those crevices, they're not really crevices, into the spaces that I've cut out for the shelves and so then the shelves will slot in nicely and they'll be weighted down and dry with that glue in there. The smaller ones that I used, uh, they're not cut into the plank of wood, they are simply just, the wood glue is used and I weighted them down and so that's all that's holding them there. So, oh, sorry about that car. So now I've combined some of the sawdust into some PVA wood glue and I've just put that along all the edges to seal it up a bit and make it look non-gappy, so non if that's even a thing. Give it a white washer paint, which was my spring brand house paint with a dash of water added to it. At the top, put on some felt bumpers and at the bottom, I'm putting on some grip, um, grip, grip stuff. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, so I only could find black at this time. So I only put a small amount on that corner because that's the corner it will be sitting on. So here's how it looks. There we go. So I've got some varying canvases on there. Um, between my big shelves, I think I marked them out at 14 inches so that I can choose those different sizes. And then the top ones uh, were smaller, I think maybe eight inches. No, six. No. But it's, it's gonna depend on what you like. So if you wanted to display a whole heap of 10 inch canvases do them at 12 inches all the way along like it's up to you so and there's the resin tabletop that I did for the wire basket in my previous video I'm sitting there and so there you go I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out and I had a lot of fun creating that and so yeah I hope you enjoyed that if you did please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe, that would be amazing and hit the bell for notifications.
All right, leave me a comment, share if possible, please. And thank you. Be fabulous.